Howdy guys, it's Abby. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you're new. Today we're doing nails. I have searched high and low for cruelty-free, logical harmony, or Leaping Bunny certified press-on nails, and I finally found some. Today I wanted to show you how I apply the nails. So these are the ones I'm going to be using today, the Euphoria set. Did I even say what brand I'm using? Wow, excellent. I'm going to be showing you how to apply clutch nails. This technique pretty much would work with any glue-on nails that you would have. But I'm going to be using the Euphoria set, and I have a few others from them as well. I have the High Maintenance, the Pine for me. I am so excited about these, but I don't want to have to cut them down for this video, so um, maybe I'll do these later. But I really like that green. And then I have the Flower Power. And a few other ones that I've already used, and these are reusable. I just kind of want to go through them all first and then find ones to reuse instead of reusing them immediately afterwards. Does that even make sense? When you open the package, it comes like this and this little instruction sheet and all of the nails are in here. Then it has this little file and the glue. I actually have a glue that's already open, which I'm going to use first. I, I think if you use their nails regularly, there's plenty of glue in this for several applications. I kind of wish they would come out with sets without glue because I have glue coming out my ears. First things first, you want to make sure that your nails are trimmed a little bit. I, I think that they don't fit me personally as well if my nails are too long because they kind of don't sit right. And you also want to leave a little bit, like don't file them down to the absolute nub. I feel like that just makes it a little bit easier. Um, because when I apply them, I kind of sometimes use too much glue and the glue seeps down underneath of my nail. And yeah, I feel like if my nails were nubs, it would be harder to deal with. But now I just kind of wait till it dries and then like move my skin. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that'll be better if I show you that. And since I use these so often, I have my sizes written down so I don't have to sit and like size them up to each nail. So I already know what sizes I need. I can just grab them and put them on. And they, if you've never used stick-on nails before, most brands are gonna have sizes printed on. It is um, right there at the tip of the inside of this nail. So this one is a bigger one. It is a size two. I think theirs come from zero to nine, maybe one to nine. I don't know if there's a zero. Yeah, the biggest size is a zero and then the small size is a nine. And this set has all the same color. Some of them have accent nails of different colors. So I know that my thumb is a size one. So I will try to find the ones. My index finger is a six. Is that right? Sometimes it looks wrong when I'm getting them out. Yeah, that's right. I just kind of lay them out in order like that so the thumbs are in the middle. Middle finger, so my middle fingers are actually different sizes. <laughs> um, this one kind of, I have to file my right finger. I don't know if something happened to this finger when I was a child or something, but it goes, like my nail is not really U shape. It kind of is a U on one side and then a V on the other. So I have to um, get a bigger one and then kind of file the edge of it down just so it looks a little bit better. These you can, if you want, um, you can file them with their little nail file or if they are just way too long, you can clip them with nail clippers. And then I just kind of trim up the edges with a little file. It can get a little tricky if you have some nails that are like the same size and there's not enough for each one. So there was one set that I had before that had an accent nail of a different color and it was hard to find the ones that fit just because like my middle fingers are different sizes. So if you can actually go up a size and just slightly file the sides right here and that will help a little bit. I had to do that. I think one of my sets was also missing a nine, so I just took an, a size eight and then filed down the sides a little bit and it worked just fine. Okay, so the next step you should do if you want them to last a long time. If you don't want them to last a long time, you can skip this step. So if you've ever been to the nail salon, if you've gotten acrylics or anything, extensions, then they will rough up the, be the your nail bed basically and that way the glue sticks a little bit better. So that's what we're going to do just very gently. You don't want to be like filing off the entire thing down to your skin like that would not be good. So just gently, I kind of just take it in circular motions like that and just until most of it's roughed up, especially around the edges. I feel like 
that's where um, they could start to come up first, obviously. But if you just want them to last a few days, um, you can just glue them straight on. And the nails are gonna come off with water. So if you have your hands in water a lot, or if you're washing dishes or anything, they are going to pop right off. Because if the water gets underneath, especially if you haven't put enough glue on there, if the water gets up underneath, that's pretty much it's done for. It's gonna start lifting, and then when you wash your hair, it's gonna get stuck in your hair. So I just bleached my roots, so um, that's why I waited until after I did my hair because I knew my hands would be in water for a while. And I'm just leaving that powder on for now until they're done and then we'll fix that in the next step. Forgot to mention, I actually have an affiliate code with Clutch Nails. I actually, it's not technically an affiliate code, it's like if you use my code twice or if my code gets used twice then I get a free set, so it's not like I'm they're paying me, they're just paying me in nails. But that code, um, I probably put it on the screen, but it's cr Abby H, And that's for 15% off of your order. I don't know if it counts for like seasonal or anything. I, I know it doesn't count with like stuff that's already on sale. But they just came out with a collection with Ready to Glare and I want all of them. So to get rid of that powder, I'm gonna spray my nails with alcohol. You don't have to have a sprayer, I just have this to clean my brushes, so I just use it for my nails. Um, or you can use like an alcohol pad or something. And I just spray it on there, let it sit for a second. That's going to get that dust off and also get rid of any oils that are on your nails, because if your nails have any oil or lotion or anything, it's the glue's not gonna stick. I'm just gonna wipe that off with this towel. You also could probably spray the alcohol before you file them and then um, just wipe off the dust, but I don't think that part matters. Okay, so I'm going to use this glue that I already have open. I don't think this is dried out, but if it is, I'll just open the other one. And remember, this is super glue. Do not get it on anything that you don't want to be stuck. Okay, so they suggest, and I agree, that you should do your dominant hand first, so that way it's easier to get the nails onto your non-dominant hand. So I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna start with my right hand, and I do my pinky first. So you will flip them over. Then depending on how long you want the nails to stay on, you can put glue on just the nail and then put it on your finger, or put glue on both. If you put glue on both, obviously it'll stay longer. So I'm gonna put a little dot. See, oh, it's not dried out. a little dot on there. Probably should zoom in for this. That's as far as it'll go. Then I'm gonna put a dot on my pinky. Obviously a smaller dot than you would use for your thumb. And try not to touch the glue before you put it on there. You're going to Press it on, make sure it's lined up before you push it down. And then you will push down when it's in place and hold it for about 30 seconds. Like firmly, like squeeze. Right through the magic of editing, it has been 30 seconds and lo and behold, um, some of the glue seeped out, if you can't tell. <laughs> this is gonna happen to you the first time you do it, I promise, just gently, gently. <laughs> don't come off, your skin's not gonna like, just don't rip it. See, I'm peeling it slowly and it's coming off. It doesn't feel good, but it's coming off. Ah, okay. So then you're gonna kind of be left with a little bit around the edges, and once it dries, it's pretty easy to chip off of there. Like, just take another nail and like pop the little excess bits off. And then if it's on your skin like that, after washing your hands a few times, it'll just peel off. It's fine. Bigger nails, I like to kind of spread the glue around just to make sure that it gets on the whole nail instead of just right in the middle. Okay, I don't think I stuck this time. We'll see. Okay, ta-da! I didn't stick that time. So I did a little bit better, but it did spill over the edges just a tiny bit. Oh, forgot. So this one is one that I have to file the edge because my nail is shaped weird. So I'm going to take this file, their file works great. Um, just file it like that. If your nail bed is 
weirdly shaped, then you can file it to the shape of your nail so it looks more natural instead of like obviously a press-on nail. I'll just check it to see. It's already a little better. I'll go a little more. I think if we're going to do any dramatic changes to the nails, like filing them a lot, I would probably do it before you put them on as much as you can. That way you're not like weakening the glue immediately after putting them on. So these I'm probably not going to trim. Sometimes I do trim them or if they're a little bit too long I just cut the end off. And also you can trim them from the bottom up. Like if they have other ones with designs on them and you can just trim from the bottom instead of from the top and like losing some of the design. I think this one um, I put a little bit too far down like over my cuticle so that that guy might pop off first. If they pop off you can just glue them back on. If you've never used press on or glue on nails before they feel weird because they're usually more curved than your natural nails, so it kind of feels like your nails are being squeezed. At least for me anyways, like my nails are not totally flat. I know some people that have like absolutely straight flat, like a table nails. So I don't think these would work if your nails are that flat because they might just pop off. So I take extra time on my index finger and thumb just because those are the ones that get the most use. And sometimes you can kind of see, if it, especially if it's a lighter color nail, you can see where the glue spread to. So like these, my index and middle finger, I can tell that the glue did not get all the way down to this bottom edge. So that means it's going to probably lift off sooner than I want it to, but um, those usually do anyways, so I'm not too upset about it. I want a little more on the thumb, but not too much. And I kind of spread it around, to make sure that it reaches all parts because it's bigger. And you don't want to do anything with your nails for at least a little while after you put these on. Like, don't immediately start trying to pick stuff up. I also did forget to mention at the beginning, but you'll want to start with your cuticles kind of pushed back. I mean, I don't think it's necessary unless they're like really bad. It's like mine have been okay because I've been kind of keeping up with them. And while I'm doing this, I'm going to talk about how to remove them. So, oops, talking and skipping steps. So when you're ready to remove them, if they haven't started lifting up already, you want to soak your hands in water for maybe 10, 15 minutes. Water is going to soften your actual nails and it's going to make the, the adhesive remove easier. And they're not just going to fall off. When you soak them in water, you're going to have to peel them a little bit. So I take, I usually leave my thumbs for last and then take my thumb and kind of jam it underneath of the nail on the side, like you can kind of tell that it's starting to lift up, just kind of poke your nail under it and um, it should come off. And you can also, if they're not really coming off like that, you can take a cuticle oil pen. Like I have one of these nail pens. I made this myself um, from an old Simply Nail Logical video, like from years and years ago. She showed you how to make your own nail oil and that's what I did. I have a bunch of these still laying around because I always forget to use them. You can get one of these already pre-made or you can buy these empty pens on Amazon and just put, um, I put a mixture of jojoba and vitamin E oil in there. Works pretty well as a nail oil and you just take that, once the nail starts to lift a little bit, take the, the little brushes in there and kind of jam them underneath of the nail and it just will soften it up and get the nail to come off. So I would say be careful of putting oils and things on your nails while these are on if you don't want them to come off yet because that could also make them come off. I think lotion is probably fine, but just I wouldn't be slathering your cuticles with oil. Most of mine usually last until it's really obnoxiously obvious that they're grown out and need to be fixed. So usually like two weeks or so. I usually have to replace my index and thumb like a week in but then the rest of them will last forever. I just take them off to fix them because my nail will have grown out significantly by then. So my nails grow pretty fast. <laughs> I can't pick it up. <laughs> oh, it just reminded me I had some acetone on my table from when I painted my toenails and um, I don't believe acetone will remove these effectively so water is going to be your best bet. 
How did I get glue? Oh my god. How did it get there? <laughs> um. Oh, it's coming. Hang on. Ah. Oh. That must have been a big draw. I don't know where that came from. Okay, so like I was saying at the beginning, you're probably going to have glue spilled over and it's going to feel like it's stuck to your nail. So once it's dry, you can kind of move your nail around, like just move the skin of your finger like that and it should just break free. See, so this one feels a lot better. Like I feel like you can't feel these nails when they're on unless you have glue stuck on the side. So I just kind of pull it down on my skin like that and it that's why you probably want a little bit of your, like the white part of your nail still on there. That way you have room to wiggle the skin free. At least that, I don't know, maybe I'm the only one that has this problem. I don't know. It's just an easy fix. Like just pull down on it and it's immediately freed. You're going to be able to see. So that one's freed from the glue and there's kind of a little bit like a little line of the glue in there but that's fine and my thumb might be a little bit more tricky I got probably too much glue and it's like stuck right there okay I think they're mostly freed so I'm gonna take like this one I got some glue on the side I'm just gonna take the file and see if I can just file that glue off of there because you can see it Yeah, that helped a little bit. And like on my pinky here, once that dries, it'll just peel off of my skin. And right, so there are the nails all done. Let me know if this was helpful, if you've tried Clutch Nails or another brand. I think if you want them to last a long time, the glue on is definitely better than the ones with the little sticker on the back. I just, I've seen a lot of tutorials and read the instructions and everything. And like, there's just little things that weren't really included in other tutorials, so wanted to include those, especially about like the peeling it off of your fingers. I was freaked out the first time I used them. Click over here to watch my most recent video or click over here to watch another one that I think you'll like. I give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss seeing my face in your subscription box every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Links to my social media, these nails, and my discount code and everything will be in the description box below and I will see you guys in the comments. Bye!